This was an extraordinary period. There was this presidential election going on. We had these two candidates, both running against President Bush, because he was very unpopular. I won't let banks and lenders off the hook when it was their greed and irresponsibility that partially got us into this mess. We should not be bailing out just Wall Street. We should be restoring opportunity on Main Street. It was a bum deal for people. You got out folks out there, teachers and construction workers and small business people, single moms, and, and they're working hard. They're acting responsibly. To the extent that they were involved in any of this, it's that some mortgage broker tells them they can afford a house that they don't know. It looks like they can afford it. And suddenly, folks are getting wiped out. Hi, how are you? Good, what's your name? And the problem you had, the dynamic you had at that juncture is that the actions that are necessary to save the financial system are by any definition bad politics. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. The fact that the American public hates what we did is, is not surprising because in many ways it's un-American. Everybody is making a fortune and people outside of that area are paying for the money they're making. We're not gonna have it. The crisis awakens people to that sense that the game is rigged. This economy is not working for me. This is a sick system from the inside. We have a lot of sickness in some of our institutions. And in that kind of environment, if you've got irresponsible politicians who want to take advantage of that and start scapegoating people who don't look like you or start trafficking in conspiracy theories, yeah, there's going to be more of an audience for that. And it tests our democracy uh, in ways that uh, um, are, are troubling.